This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so DAZN have announced that they have 15 million subscribers. 15 million. Now, of course, not all of those are for boxing. Of course not. They have like football, i.e. soccer, uh, Bellator and all other kinds of sports. So while not all of them are boxing fans, of course not, but it's there for them if they want to. Of course, they're in multiple different territories around the world, the UK, in Canada, in Mexico, in the United States of America, in Germany, in Japan, Australia. I mean, it's going here, there and everywhere. Now, last year, i.e. 2022, there was a revenue of 2.3 billion dollars which is a 70% growth compared to 2021. Um, I mean, it's the highest grossing sports app globally. 1.2 billion hours streamed. 100 million users watching design on YouTube across all the platforms with 8 billion social media impressions. So absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now, of course, not all of this kind of money, their 2.3 billion uh, revenue and all that kind of stuff, of course, not all of that is profit and whatever else. And yes, they probably still are in the red. They've made huge losses over the last couple of years. COVID certainly didn't help. In fact, one article currently is saying that they're still about 5 billion in the red, something like that. But they can afford to do it. Of course, you kind of like Rob Peter to pay Paul. It's all the different subdivisions within the DAZN platform with the multiple sports that they have. So they can take money out of one, put it into the other. The owner, Len Blackwick, got so much money, he can just pour it out of his own bank account into DAZN as and when needed. So of course, when you hear things about how DAZN are seeking investment, well, they kind of get investment from the owner, really. So quite what the true numbers are as far as debt or losses and all that kind of stuff, who knows? Who knows? But still, the, main, the most important part is that they have 15 million subscribers. 15 million. How many of those are boxing subscribers who are like me, for example, and a lot of you listening right now is purely for boxing? No idea. No idea, to be honest. But the fact that they can afford to pay Canelo Alvarez the amount of money that they do, Anthony Joshua the amount of money that they do, you know, the fact that they can attract people like KSI onto that platform, pay for a Floyd Mayweather exhibition fight and all these other kind of things. Clearly, they've got money. They've got a lot of money. They really do. So if anybody's thinking that the zone and calling it a dead zone, as many people do and whatever, well, clearly not. Now, it's very, very popular in places like Japan and Germany, especially. So there's always going to be people wanting and watching the zone. And this is an app. Okay, this is not a regular TV. Now, if anybody's hoping and praying that DAZN is going to get, is just going to fold, well, obviously, I don't, listen, I'm no financial expert on any of this, of course not. Quite how serious money they've lost over, like, the last few years, I don't know. But ultimately, it's, it, it would appear that they're here for the long haul. That's why they can afford to pump so much money into boxing, even though they probably ain't getting that back at the minute. But the long-term goal, of course, will be to get it all back. The purse strings will be tightened up a little bit. Eddie Hearn is going to have to start producing shows to make profit very, very soon. You know, he's been given, like, what was it, a billion to spend over eight years or whatever it was, I think the deal was, or five years, I forget what it was now. But obviously that ain't here yet. I mean, he's only been on his own, was it three years, maybe four now, something like that. So he's still got a little ways to go to spend that billion dollars, but there's... They have invested a hell of a lot of money, but they can keep on doing it because they make so much money in some of the other sports. The fact that Blackwick put in, was it about a billion just into soccer not so long ago? Unbelievable. Unbelievable amount of money. There's more chance of the PBC folding than there is of the zone. Quite what's happening with uh, Golden Boy and that, no idea. But still, still, they've got money there to play with, clearly. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch your next video.